Hey guys, welcome back to Meet the Daily. I'm Jenny. And I'm Alejo. And we've got a great show for you guys today. And you know, we're rebranding and all. You know, it used to be called Lincoln Bio. Now it's called Meet the Daily. You got and some new hair. I got new hair for the occasion too. <laughs> I used to have brown, I have black. I'm ready for spooky season. And I just, I went from a saddie to a baddie. Go off, queen. Go off. All right, speaking of spooky season, let's get into this next story. Borrowing Tupperware from your mom might be dangerous now, sister. Wait, what do you mean? I I keep them. That's the problem. <laughs> okay, well, those days are, you know, over now, specifically since the uh, company behind Tupperware has filed for bankruptcy. Here's the skinny. Here's uh, the lowdown, right? Tupperware Brands, the company behind the iconic containers that we know and love, right, said it was seeking chapter 11 bankruptcy protection oh no not chapter 11. i know that's what i, I mean chapter 10 okay but chapter 11 mm. we're doomed uh, but anyways uh so after struggling to revitalize its core business you know ain't nobody buying tupperware no more brother that's probably what it is like especially since restaurants are basically giving away reusable food containers that is true my you mom keeps saving those. those you yeah. wash them again yeah, one time use yes. nah you know we save everything and we've been a problem, sis, if you think about it. You know the butter container and, and like, you know the glass jars that the coffee true, comes in? This the sour cream butter. My mom the, the, uses yeah. the, the coffee jar for like her habanero salsa she makes. The yes, mico toma, I'm like, this is the salsa, Nescafe, yeah. the pinche salsa. I'm like, <laughs> okay, so I feel like we're kind of at fault too. Yeah, I mean, that that is true. And you know what's crazy, brother? I always thought Tupperware was just a broad term, like for food containers. I, I didn't oh. think that it was like a brand brand. I mean, you just saw like the containers, like, oh, it's on Tupper. Yeah, it's yeah, on yeah. Tupper. It's on like Tupperware. Like with Kleenex and yeah. like Kobikas. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Well, it's just, you know, that's a Tupperware. That's true. Yeah. So far, it's still around, but it ain't looking good. Mm. All right, now let's give it a toilet to the next story. Uh, so Target GTA. Sister, I don't know, but kids nowadays are built different. Look, so check this out. An eight-year-old girl took an SUV from her Ohio home and drove like miles away to a Target. An eight-year-old girl, girl drove. Yes, alone to Target. She went on her own Target run. And uh, yeah, later she was found unharmed uh, according to authorities, but Damn. She, she just said, F it, I'm going to Target. Sis was trying to get that new Stanley Cup drop, brother. <laughs> Jeez, like that's crazy. I They're ruthless, man. Like they don't care. Look, so this girl drove a 2020 Nissan Rogue 11 miles. It's like more or less like a 30 minute drive. What? And Without they like have getting in an accident driving. or, jeez. If you think about it, like she's driving pretty well compared to a lot of drivers out here. She's not true. signaling, so that's already a good, you know, very LA. You know, no turn signals exist. And uh, she's weaving a little bit. But no pasa nada. See, sí, brother, por eso le pienso tener hijos. Because of the... Like, I just like, do traviesos, look! Yeah. That's crazy. The the kids today, of today, are built different. But, like, how did, like, 30 minutes and just, like, you know, messing with the station, like, having a little, like, cup, like... But, dude, how does her little foot get to the gas pedal and the brake? Do they have self-driving? Nah. Nah. Maybe she's on a little pillow. Just like, I don't know, dude. But that's, that's, honestly, that's skills right there. Yeah, like, because... Like, this is not her first time. That's another thing, because she didn't hit anybody. No one hit her. Yeah. I want footage of her pulling up to Target. Like, I want to see her pulling into a spot. Or, like, you know, like in spot drop when yeah. you scrape it. You're good. Yeah. You're good. She's scraping the other cars. But no, she didn't. Dude, luckily. imagine, like, you get, like, in front of her and you're, you're, you're you know, you're about to look and be like, you're like, there's nobody there. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> you see the top of her head? You see, like, a little colita. Like, <laughs> that's it. Like, a little trencita just there. And it's like, what the hell? Oh, Damn, man. that's crazy. Well, thank God she's okay. Yeah. First of all, her parents are going to have to hide the car keys from now on because this is Seriously. insane. But put a yeah. tracker on her ass because I don't know what the hell happened. Yeah, there. but Sheesh. kids, man. But anywho, let's uh, talk. Let's let's talk about Bennifer, shall we? Because oh, we got to we got to get into that right now. So the Bennifer saga continues. Look, I love them. But honestly, they remind me of like the white version of Cardi B and Offset. Oh my God. Que si, que no, que another kid that we're broken up. We're what is it? So rumors are that they, that Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck met up at Beverly Hills mm -hmm. and my boy Ben couldn't keep his hands off of Jenny. <laughs> yep. Allegedly, they're still attracted to each other. 
I That's mean, they toxic, toxic, brother. Seriously. You know, and I mean, we're looking at two decades of playing games. Yeah, what's next? Freaking Benefit 3.0? Because it's 2.0. Yeah. Now well, I was uh, rooting for them the entire time. So in a way, I'm kind of glad that que todavía está ahí, the fire is still there. <laughs> Because yeah. I was disappointed. I was like, we're, we were rooting for you. Like, it's Tyra like, Banks, uh, we're all rooting for you, you know? It gave us, like, hope, right? Because a lot yeah. of times, like, you know, like, like, they would say, oh, that's the one that got away. But, like, look, he's back. 2.0. Let's make yeah. it happen. Yeah. And then it didn't happen. But, yeah, I mean, if you think about it, look. He's from Boston, right? Yeah. He She's is. from the Bronx. Mm -hmm. Jenny from the block. And this is just essentially proof that Boston and NY have beef. However, they need each other. Yeah. They can't stay away. They need that, like, hey, what's up, baby? And like, man, you know what? You ain't shit. Oh, no, that's not you. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, um, yeah. it's just like, what is it? Well, brother, regardless of the situation, they honestly look happy. You know, even though supposedly the divorce is still going forward. But I don't know. I feel like this, I, I feel like tal vez no pase. Or it's on pause they're or gonna whatever. Reverse, like, yeah, maybe they're gonna be like, you know what? Like, hey, we, we just we were just mad. Yeah, or I they're gonna angry. point it to the world. Got got him, got your ass. <laughs> you know, like so. In a way, I'm like, I'm, I'm rooting for them. I'm rooting for them, and I hope. Um, I think maybe it took this to to be like, nah, I freaking care about up, you. Huh? You know, I care about you. Like, it's been miserable. I've been so miserable. That's true. It's kind of what I no, wanted yeah. back then, but. It didn't happen like that for me, though. So Instagram has finally made teen accounts private as pressure mounted on the app to protect children. Honestly, I can't believe it took this long. Really? Yeah, I doubt it will keep all the creeps out, though. But still, it's something. No, yeah, it's a step in the right mm -hmm. direction. So yeah. essentially what uh, IG is going to do is uh, new teens joining the app will automatically receive a teen account. And so existing teens that are on the IG app already will be moved to teen accounts within the next 60 days. And I mean, it's funny because like you said, like I know some kids are gonna like, they're already, they're gonna lie about their age and get the account, but overall, regardless of all yeah. that, I just hope it keeps the kids safe. Because, same here, same here. I mean, um, and in my humble opinion, I, mean, I don't think teens mm -hmm. should have social media. Really? And this is because it's like, dude, like, like I, me as a grown woman in my thirties, I'm affected by that. Like if someone calls me, you know, I like you know on the freaking on the, the show. Six to six I, I, yeah, yeah, six to six torta. <laughs> the, yeah, I got a comment that said it was a six to six torta, and what? But if someone calls me something, I'm like getting my feels about. It. I'm like, no, yeah. yeah. You know, like, I'm just like, dude, I can only imagine what it does to kids or comparing yourself body wise to someone else or where your life's at and all this stuff. You're being constantly stimulated by all of this, yeah. you know, and it's like, it's a lot. So imagine what it do does to kids. Like, no, yeah, definitely. You, you know, have a good point. yeah. And I'm mature. Oh, at least like, I, I like to think I am. So like what age but, do you think is a good age for younger people to get on social? Because when did when did you get your first social media account? OK, MySpace. MySpace. Well, MySpace. Like so that was again. 13? Yeah, I was yeah, I was I was young. Yeah, yeah. Like like around that. Yeah. yeah. I was in junior high when I got yeah. there. And like the, those top eight things were, oh, were vicious. Bro. Yeah. Top That's eight. where it all started. The social yeah, media the trauma. friends were bickering at each other, yeah. like, why is she on your top eight and mm -hmm. not me and this and that? And then they changed it to top sixteen, so it kinda I don't know. But yeah. I, I mean, don't. look, as a parent, all you can do is like try to supervise your kids. Oh, yeah. That's their kids, though. Yeah. I mean, if, IG can put up the restrictions just to cover their asses yes, on the legal side. For sure. Yeah. But yeah. Ultimately, if the parent's like, yeah, I'm going yeah. to monitored by mom. It's like, <laughs> then you do it. And that's mom. fine. Yeah, I don't judge I do. don't judge parents that like let their kids have social media. It's fine. By mm -hmm. all means, that's your kid, you know? Like, who am I to say? When should Izzy get on social media, brother? Well, funny enough, she has an IG already. No way! <laughs> I don't follow her! I think she follows you. Fake ass. She follows me! <laughs> you liar! No, but I'm not active on it, but I made an account so I can put pictures, but... But she follows me? I believe so. That's fucked up, bro. On I your end? It. On my yeah, end! Yeah. De no, no yeah. <laughs> Let me look her up right after this. Yeah, I'm not gonna say here, but yeah, that was pretty clever. But yeah, I think, uh, <laughs> what's it called? She has a social media account, but I'm not gonna let her actually be active on social. Until she's the legal age of the app, it's like I'm gonna be that boomer parent. It's like, but I get like, let me see, let me supervise. Like, no, just when you're actually old enough to like yeah. do this thing on your own, even with some supervision, mm -hmm. then you can get on it. Yeah, no, for sure. But right. I get this, like for for you know kids that have social media, and um, I I like that there's uh, more like a safer option. Yeah, yeah.
In honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, we sent our boy Gene to go chat with John Leguizamo and Ben de Jesus, the creators of American Historia, the Untold History of Latinos, which premieres September 27th. What up, Gene? Why did you guys make American Historia and who's it for? We had no choice but to make it. I mean, Latin facts and Latin history and Latin contributions are completely erased from American history. So it behooves us for our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren to start putting it back into history. Exactly. I remember watching uh, when John was doing rehearsals for his uh, new one-man show, Latin History for Morons. That was part of the inspiration, is that John was uncovering these incredible stories in front of theater audiences, in front of even, remember we'd have like public school teachers. Oh yeah, were, yeah. That you were enlightening, and we just kind of realized, wait a second, there's something here. So around 2018, <laughs> we were like, you know what? Let's put this on a, on, a, on a TV show. We're excited to put this story out here because a lot of Latino youth, they don't realize that they should have so much pride yeah. in our roots. That's really what it's about. It's about showing up and showing that, you know what, we've been here, we've been giving contributions to the planet yeah. since, uh, since uh, the dawn of time. First episode is our empires. So thousands of years before it was America. You know, our great empires, we, we contributed so much to the world that never gets said. And then episode two is from the conquest to the 1900s. And the third episode is the 1900s to the 70s to all the activism that we were a part of. Because we were also fighting against segregation, redlining, Jim Crow laws against us, basically living in an apartheid system in, in the West and Southwest. So we want to include all that. Yeah, on stage, there's only so much you can cover. People are there to see a Broadway show. With right. this one, we were really ready to yeah. dig in and go a little deeper. One of the amazing things that we did on the trip to Mexico was- What was that? Teotihuacan. We, we oh, actually went God. under the oh pyramid. That was yes. incredible. It was something that had just been discovered maybe 20 years ago. And John and me and the camera crew, wow. that was incredible. Remember, we were on It was amazing. Knees. We're excited to share with the world and excited for people to see it. When? September 27th. What's it called? PM. American history, the untold history. And why of should they see it? Because you need to, you deserve to be enlightened. You need to be educated. Yes. Yo, welcome back to La Vota. Hey. <laughs> Okay, so yesterday was National Voter Registration Day. And we wanted to play some games with our staff to see what's faster, right? Everyday challenges or registering to vote. Spoiler alert, it's a lot faster than you expect. Thank you, Jenny. And we are out here about to begin with the cafecito challenge. What is faster, making a cup of coffee from scratch or Alejo is going to be registering to vote. How are you guys feeling right now? I'll be done. Like, hey, can you make me a cup, actually? Because I'm going to be waiting for you. Oh. I feel like you sound a little slow. I'm making two cups. <gasps> can we just get into this? OK, let's go. Three, two, one, go! Photo Latino. Or slash me too. Oh, there it is. Oh, he's already on the website. He's already on the website? Ah, yeah, dude, okay. come on now. This thing's got to boil. Get your head in the game. He already putting in his address. Oh my gosh. Make sure it's his you real address. It, brother. Okay, I got to grind this thing. He's quick with it. He's almost done. He's only grinding the beans? He's I boy, very I boy. grinding. I wait. I wait. Registered a vote. Oh, he almost done. Literally sitting, watching water boil. Yeah, I like mine uh, with cream a little. A little cream. Um, I don't have sugar or cream. Sorry, you're going to have to take it. Strong, raw. Place I of see birth. little bubbles. California. I don't know. Northridge. Do it. Oh, Cal wait. That was license. Is that oh. how you make it? I think so. According New to this border, thing. New voters. It's driver's yeah. license. Yeah. Oh, the pressure. Oh my gosh! Hurry up. LA County. Okay. Yeah. Should I put my mailing address as my ID or the where I live now? Struggling. I would recommend doing where you live now. What if I move out? I consent to the use of my DMV signature. Why are you throwing stuff, bro? I'm trying to help the country. <laughs> I'm almost done, I'm almost done. I'm just double checking all everything. Mail, okay, yes, DMV, submit. And yes. boom, baby. I am done, I'm ready to vote. I'll see you at the polls on November 5th, baby. I got you. All right, so where's my cup at? Where are you? How are we looking over here? Dude, he, it, they still, they still sizzling in there. It was less time than making a cup of coffee. So, it's that easy, people. That easy. Welcome back to round two. Today, we are swiping for love. And we're gonna find out what takes longer, registering to vote or setting up a dating profile. 
Okay. Jenny, what do you think? I think I'm going to win. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, you know, I haven't registered to vote yet. Um, I thought Why? I would be called into jury duty if I did. But guess what? what? I've been called in three times already, and I'm not a registered voter. Not off to a good start over here. How about you, Eugene? How do you feel? Come on, brother. I got some pictures from 2016 that are going to... That's catfishing, man. They're going to work. It's going to work. I'm going to get multiple yeses. Okay, and bootleg good Russ. Luck, good luck. All right, you know. bootleg Russ. Enough jibber jabber, enough yapping. Let's get into it. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, he doesn't even have the app. All right, app store. You gotta go to it, you know? Oh, well, she's already like on the form and everything. That's cool, like, that's cool. We get in there. It says I'm this will zone, take two bro. minutes. I'm in the zone. Uh oh, waiting for a code. Boom. Let's go. Best feature Mexico. Apple ever did. Mexico! Mexico! It's not a race thing, y'all. It's just register to vote, please. We're all united. United States of America, am I right? Dude, Mexicans are Latino. faster. Not off to a good start. We gotta wait for this email now. <laughs> he has to verify that it's him. Waiting for a verification code. Oh, we got we it, go. we got it, we got it. It's all, all good. Right. Man, look at that. Look how old I am, bro. Yeah, I was gonna say, I thought I, thought I was older than you. Oh, damn. Look where we at. 33. Maybe I think you might have a chance. I mean, nah, oh, I know. Hold on. Zoom into your neighborhood. Oh, my. He's already in the neighborhoods. Oh, my he God. He needs a match. What type of relationships are you looking for? You have to fill out all those dots What's up there? Wait, this oh is my crazy. God. She's almost oh, done with the form. Damn, they're doing the height thing on me. Uh-oh. Who, who knows my height? <laughs> You're six foot in my eyes. Oh, I'm six foot. Driver's license number. Shout out West Covina. What are your family plans? Uh, I think I want kids. Do you drink? Sometimes. Do you smoke tobacco? Nah. No shot. Do you smoke weed? Show off the person behind the profile with pigs, videos, and prom. Oh, here we go. We're, oh. we're talking pictures over here. Woo! Let's see how we're looking. You know looking. where I'm going? I'm going to the 2016 folder. He's going to his oh, favorites. Yeah. Yep. The where good old that? days. Where's that favorites? Let's go. Damn. I know the dog. Dog. Dog pictures do numbers, bro. Bro, literally, he has to go to the very, very top of his album yeah. to get those 2016 pictures. Are you done? Nah, Am nah, I done? Nah, no, she's not, Am no, she's I done? Not. Is this it? Yes, yes, you're done, you're done! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> yeah! Oh wait, wait. Yeah! He's still picking the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> it takes time, bro. Faster to register to vote wow. than to set up a dating profile. <laughs> the more you know. Hey. We are ready for our final challenge. Get ready with me, or get ready with me to register by mail. This is gonna be intense, sister. Liam's gonna run one mile to the nearest mailbox and ship that baby off. And Daniela is gonna be getting ready. Full glam. Full glam. Mm -hmm. Who do you guys think is faster? I have faith in me. I've been really late recently to work and I've had to show up camera ready. So I feel like my skills have really developed. So I have faith in me, for sure. Liam, what do you think, man? Keyword is late. You weren't on time and you were behind, so I'll be ahead of this curve. Oh. I'll see you at the finish line. Well, your shoes are untied, so. Okay. <laughs> I didn't look. I didn't May look. You look. I didn't look. I May didn't look. You <laughs> literally. Wait, wait. Oh. 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 And we're off. Why is she going outside? Oh, I forgot about this room. Oh my god, it's locked. Okay. Oh. All right, so, oh, she has to unpack everything first. Concealer, foundation, eyebrow, beauty blender. Do you actually have to do every single part of that? Vote.gov. I'm gonna be printing a lovely registration form. How many pages? 27, dear oh. God. Oh, snap. Oh my God, this is so important because it keeps everything on my face all day. And even when I cry a little bit, like during my lunch break. Wait, Wait where's the tray? Oh my God. You know what, this is gonna slow me down is the amount of paper. We gotta do contour. So contour here, 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 here. I know, I look crazy right now. It just chisels your face. This one I wonder really how Liam's doing, cause this is taking forever. Yes, Mr. Mm -hmm. Studio City, that's where I rep. Oh, oh, oh. Perfect, perfect. Oh, that's you? Oh. <laughs> uh, we're gonna start combing my brows. I should do that. I think you can comb your brows. You should. You want? Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, Come okay, on. okay, 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 okay. I think we have. Um, Danielle's probably doing her blush by now. No, she's not. What's blush? It's just like a little beauty secret. Okay. It, yeah. Give it a kiss. 
<laughs> if I do make it a little late, like if I'm in line by eight, they have to wait. Like they cannot kick me out of line. If I have to put up a fight, like I will, and I look good doing it. Brain ship, let's go! Oh, snap! Oh, oh! Dude, oh my god! Oh, what? what do you mean? You went old. Hurry up! Ah! All right, blush. Okay, okay, okay. Blush, 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 blush. Done, 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 done. We're gonna do some highlighter. Just do pick it up. Ah! The sound guy! Open it! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm freaking out. You got this! You got this! You got this! Okay. Okay, we can cut out a couple steps. Uh, I'm still gonna look good. You got this! Dale, 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 dale. They're up, they're up. You see them? You see them? Go, go, go! Go! Woo! Everything all good? Oh, it's Jenny. Oh, let's see. Answer. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Coins, how are you? Brother, it's over. You emailed it? Yeah. It's done. Woo, that was insane. That was so intense. But it was fun and quick. It was See? fun and quick. Like Liam, he was quick. He was quick with it. <laughs> make sure to check this out and make sure your voice is heard. Head to votolatinofoundation.org slash me too for easy access to registering.